Welcome back to Vlogging with Dubs. It was going so well. And then this morning we wake up and somebody came into our campsite and stole three of our phones right off the fucking ground right in front of us because we were sleeping right next to them. And I start fucking talking to people that are here and people are saying that it's super prominent this year and there's fucking Reddit threads about it. People were telling us by the showers that people are taking fucking videos of people in the showers. Some girl was fucked up at Subtronics last night and someone walked over to them her like two guys and they were like pulling out cotton balls with like fucking shit to like drug her and then somebody like stepped in i mean i've never seen a lost lands like this and i've been this is my sixth lost lands and this is insane it's disgusting the energy here is gross this year I'm literally so fucking sick of these festivals selling the fuck out and just fucking mainstream as fuck and everybody just wants to come and not give a fuck about the culture and not give a fuck about the community. It's literally disgusting. I'm just like, my camp feels safe at my campsite. That's crazy. So... It really, 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 like, sucks. And, like, I really don't even care about my phone. I am more upset about the vibe and the energy that the festival has become. And it's just, like, it's heartbreaking to me. It really is. It's heartbreaking. I mean, I've been every year. I think it's just an incredible festival, an idea. And I just, I'm heartbroken for it. And so many people got their phones stolen. I just... Terrible. So, anyway, we're gonna have a good day. I am, um, you know, like, in balance, and um, you can't have good people without bad people. So, you know, if we. Shitty things have to happen so you can understand that good exists, and I guess. It's just something we all have to get over and create beauty through pain and that's all you can do so I'm gonna have a good day um, and yeah I'm gonna take a fuck ton of pictures and videos so this has been vlogging with tabs day four five Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, five, day five. We'll see you guys soon. Rivers running free, you know how I feel. Lost among a tree, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. And I'm feeling, and I'm feeling good. And I'm feeling, and I'm feeling good.
Adrian Raymond's cute. Come on. <laughs>
what the great vibes brought us, Lost Lands. It worked. We got the guy. <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm good. How are you, brother?
magical. I've never seen anything like that in my entire fucking life. I've been raving for six years. I've never seen anything like that. I've never seen anything like that. Vlogging with Dad. Welcome back. <laughs>
<laughs> Bye, Legend Valley. Till next time. Yo, because I just don't know. Vlogging with dabs, I'm on three percent. Cleaning up, I'm charged to GoPro and we'll see you guys soon. Hey. You gotta clean up, you gotta clean up. You gotta clean up, you gotta clean up. You gotta clean up, you gotta clean up. Bye, Lost Lands. Bye, Lost Lands. with Dad. Almost. Welcome back to Vlogging with Dabs. We have made it. I think it's that trash can. We made it home. Yay, look at it. We are now going to um, go to the storage unit, drop all this shit off. I will make another video explaining my thoughts and then that'll be it. So thanks for coming along for the Lost Lands vlog. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. See you guys soon. Whoa, welcome back to Vlogging with Dabs. I'm dying. Um, I just wanted to also say a story that happened to me that was fucked up was um, I was standing at Wampy in front of my moon mats with my friends and my friend was laying down. And this is like after hours, this is during Versa on the last day. It's like 11.30, we're like out of the crowd. We're not even close to anybody. People are sitting down all over the place. This cop walks up to me and he's like, big, big dude, shines a flashlight at her and is like, she needs to get up. And I'm like, why? And he goes, cause I fucking said so. And I'm like, okay. I like wake her up. I'm like, Sadie says you have to get up. He, she sits up. He's like, I'm like, we're all looking at him like, okay, dude, like you, 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 you're done with your power trip or what? He literally leans in my ear. He's well. He looks at her and he's like, "You need to sit up. Like you need to stay sitting." He leans in my ear and he's like, "I don't know if you know the difference between, or, or I, um, I don't know if you can wrap your tiny brain around the fact that she might get trampled, but that's the difference between my brain and yours. You fucking idiot." Could not believe he said that to me. So rude. Literally bad vibes. Whatever. Welcome back. Oh God, I'm literally dying, but welcome back to vlogging with tabs. I have finally made it home. I have the woke flu. <laughs> I'm trying to gather my thoughts to like put them into words of like what I can like articulate of this festival. Um, I think as far as production, and sets, and I think as far as um, expansion and things like that, I think this was the best year yet for it. I think that so much was brought to the table. Um, um, I think that the campgrounds were amazing. I think that the stages were uh, insane. The Production was great. The sound was crisp. I mean, everything on Jeff's end could not be like more precise and well thought out and just like really brought to the next level. And I really appreciate that because um, as far as that, it was just amazing. Like my jaw was on the ground when I saw main stage. All the stages were great. After hours were great. Everything was amazing that being said the vibe has never been more different and i can say that wholeheartedly and it's not just because i got my phone stolen but just the shit that was being like said and 
on Reddit, from people we were talking to, um, what happened to us. I mean, like the experience as um, a festival goer. And if you've been to Lost Lands for as long as I've been, which has been since year one, I mean, we've seen it change. That's There's no denying that. We have seen it move and change and grow. And, you know, and that's just comes with the festival territory when a festival is expanding the way this festival is expanding. But the vibes were very weird this year. Um, they were very, very yin-yang. Like, you definitely had really awesome people that you found but it was not like the entire crowd was like that and that for me was really sad to see uh, mostly because I have been going since year six and I've been going to festivals for seven years and I just feel like festivals as like a whole you don't expect like a balance like you expect that in real life like you expect like shitty people you know good people you have both you need one you can't you can't have one without the other but at a festival i just feel like there's a majority of good surrounding what's going on so for it for for me to witness and see maybe i can make this a little brighter hold on. For me to witness and see the festival have an overwhelming presence of negative energy interacting the way it did with, um, you know, the experience is really, really, really fucking sad. And I uh, mean, I heard rumors it was 80,000 people this year. I don't know how true it is. I know in the past it's been 35 to 40,000. I know the more people that you put in an area, the more chances of this happening uh, is, is, is just more likely. But, you know, I heard uh, like people were scared to go in the bathrooms. The bathroom attendants wouldn't like were asking girls if they wanted their boyfriends or guys to like go with them one at a time, like not into the girl stall, but like into the fucking area of the bathroom for VIP because women were uncomfortable. I mean, I heard stories of people, they, you weren't allowed to take your phone out like while you were in the shower because people were recording other people. This one old lady was talking about in the VIP bathroom, somebody shoved her down the stairs. Um, some guy at Subtronics saw this girl laying down on the ground. Two guys like pulled out, I want to say like, cotton balls with I guess drugs and were like going over to her I heard that they, he, this guy actually had to step in and say something to them the fucking pickpocketing was absolutely insane I talked to so many people I got their phones stolen um my, I mean my phone was literally taken from me at my campsite right next to me I've never seen anything like that in my entire life it's just so fucking weird and at 7 a.m too like somebody came in saw me and my friend sleeping there took the phones from next to us it's just weirdo behavior was so present and a lot of people that just don't fucking understand the culture and it's just so heartbreaking to see and witness um, and, I, and, I, and I haven't even been raving for that long, you know, compared to people that really are OG ravers and stuff, you know, seven years is really not that long compared to people that were in the scene before. And I know things change and stuff like that, blah, 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 but it's just a lot, um, because now I'm experiencing the change. Um, when I first started going, I was surrounded by a lot of people that have been doing it for a lot longer and now I feel like I'm surrounded by a lot of people that are just getting into it and there needs to be a what's the word I'm looking for like a like a yeah there needs to be like a respect or like a want and need for the culture and like to understand it and not to just come in and 
and think because you're going to do a bunch of fucking drugs that that's what this is all about because it's not it's about the community it's about the music it's about so much more than getting fucked up and i know everybody's in a state of fucking like turmoil especially in the country and with whatever you know is going on but it's not an excuse to not take responsibility for your energy and then how that energy affects the people around you. So um, I had such an incredible time. I think that it was one of my favorite Lost Lands. Um, and I just think that I'm falling more and more into place with you know myself and the people I'm surrounding myself with. So I feel like that really has a lot to do with it. But. I am curious to see where um, this festival and more festivals are going to go. Um, I think next year I'm definitely going to go back as far as right now. I definitely want to see what happens and how Excision approaches everything that is going to be said because I know him and his team really take this survey seriously, which I really appreciate. So I'm sorry this clip is really long, but I just had to get my thoughts out to you. Um, this has been Vlogging with Dabs. My next festival is Halloween, so <laughs> have a little breath of fresh air with energy. So hopefully this year's great. It's a 10 year anniversary. I cannot wait. So thanks for following along with me. Um, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I had a fantastic time and I will see you guys super soon. Thanks so much.